I have this hobby here, running boats and learning about them and trying to get better. And then on the maritime side for work, it's, you know, how do I develop a, a capability that stands out where everyone else is fairly mundane? And, and that's what Takaro Blue is. Yeah, I love like the symbol of the water you use to kind of describe that sense of like work task that you always kind of comes back in your life. Um, Because when we look back at like previous like masters of history, like they also always had a central thing they always fell back upon, right? An example I always like to go back to is like the Wright brothers, right? Who flew the first airplane. When they were very little children, their parents would give them like toys for Christmas, like these little like toy airplanes or cars. They would break the whole thing apart, take all the pieces apart, somehow put it back in together. There's like something like genetically wired inside of them that is telling them that this is what you have to go do, right? But look at Leonardo da Vinci. When he was growing up, Paper was like a rare commodity, like papers, arts, crafts. You couldn't, you didn't really have readily access to that where you were growing up. But what he would do is he would sneak into his dad's office, steal sheets of paper, go in the woods and just start drawing because something inside of him is like just guiding him to be like, this is where I have to be. And it seems to me that, you know, but swimming at Petty and then going to Navy SEALs and now that there's a sense of fulfillment that maybe water brings to you or the sense of like working with things in the ocean. Absolutely. I mean, you have to understand who you are. Um, if I go on the water with a buddy or by myself on a boat for four hours, when I'm on the water and I'm watching the waves, regardless of how how good or bad the weather is, you you become one with the environment. I'm not worried about my cell phone. I'm not worried about my email. I'm not worried about did I fill my truck up with gas? It's about you and nature. And, and that that's mine. And when I come off the water, it, it feels like I took a month long vacation. Have you heard of the concept of flow state activities? Oh, called what I'm saying? Say again? Flow, like flow state. Uh-uh, no. So I read about this concept recently about flow, right? Where it's essentially you're so immersed in some task or some activity that you have no thoughts in your mind, right? That, for example, I might be working on the podcast and I'd be maybe editing videos or talking to people. And when I'm so immersed in that activity, everything kind of like goes gray in the background, blurs in the background. Like I'm not checking my phone. I'm not checking my email. I'm not worried about my math test next period. I'm in the zone. And in the same way, I think everyone has like a unique flow state activity that when they work on it, it's like nothing else matters, right? And to me, it seems that the way you're describing it, it's like it's like your own flow state activity that when you're when you're there, there's like nothing else matters but the thing. And it, to me, one of the reasons I also started this podcast is because like I want to see like what brings everyone fulfillment. And the pattern I keep seeing is that everyone has different things that when they're in that zone, nothing else matters to them. I was talking to my wrestling coach the other day and he was describing how like firefighting and, you know, being a wrestling coach and these things always kind of bottom away from the world around them, right? Like you stop, you, your stress is reduced and you feel like you're more at mental peace because you kind of give your mind a break from just thinking when you're there doing that activity. So would you say that working with the water or with these boats or on the Navy seals, that kind of fills that flow state activity for you or? Absolutely. I will add one point. So I am ADHD dyslexic um, without question. Um, so everyone out there that has it, you're going to be just fine regardless of what anyone else tells you. I'm pretty sure Steve Jobs was the exact same way. Um, but the reason I say that is while the common thing is water, I can focus on something, whether it's it's wiring this or working on an engine for hours. But there comes a point where my mind is like squirrel and, and I got to go do something else. So where a lot of people do one thing all the time, I like to do two or three things. It's just as I'm doing one thing, my mind is processing what I was doing before and how I can prove, improve or how I can develop capability. But you are 100% accurate. When you are in the zone, your flow state, there is nothing else. And, and what you describe there is a SEAL mission. You have an end state and while you're doing it, nothing else matters. I don't care how cold it is. I don't care how miserable it is. I don't care what the odds of success are. I will absolutely do it. So I have lived it for sure. If you enjoyed that segment with Tristan Rizzi, then you're going to love the full one hour length podcast that I recorded with him. Hit the link in the description now to see the full one hour length podcast.